everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today you join me here at Portofino Bay where we were here for one night over Christmas as part of our Orlando 2021 holiday. So what I thought I would do as part of this video is give you a quick um, tour of the room that we have here and also a very quick tour of the resort, the facilities, the scenery, the area, etc, etc. Just to give you an idea as to what the resort is like, give you my first impressions of it and also Kate and Williams if I can get them on camera. Um, just so that you've got an idea of what the resort is like to actually stay at. I hope this video helps. If you do have any questions about the resort, the facilities, the room, anything like that, then please obviously um, leave a comment down below in the description. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime though, let's have a very quick tour of the room and then I'll show you around the hotel very, very shortly. So if you haven't already, uh, please check out our separate room tour video but um, on the channel. But what I thought I would do is give you a very quick tour of the room on this video as well. This is a club level room. It is in bought, um, sorry, building 2, floor 6. It's room 2666. You've got a little stool and chair here. You've got a nice little desk here with two chairs. Uh, you've got two queen size beds, a good um, size unit here and TV. Oliver's asleep in the pram there so I'm just going to leave him for a minute. You've got a wardrobe over here. And then you also have a very nice sized bathroom here with a separate toilet which is a nice bonus and then obviously a good size sink area and a very decent sized shower. I don't want to go into too much detail here on this part of the video as I want this video to be mainly about the resort, the facilities, the club lounge, um, you know, and those kind of bits and bobs. But if you do want to see this room in a bit more detail, please check out our room tour video which I'll leave as a link coming up now on your screen. So Portofino really is a very pretty resort. The lobby and stuff are up in uh, this building over here, but you've got the uh, the harbour as they call it. You've got Universal Studios store over here. They've set up a Christmas tree. And you've also got the uh, dock just down here for where you get the boats to and from the park. So if you are looking at Portofino Bay, in terms of where the lobby is, it's over here. You can pop out here. If you want to know where the boats go from, it's the harbour just down here on the right hand side. But it's very, very pretty out here at the minute. Very, very pretty. So also at this resort, you have a Starbucks coffee shop that is over here on the right where you can obviously get your coffee, different breakfast items in the morning. You then have a Universal Studios store just over here. There is also a jewellery store slash art gallery over the back there. So there is quite a lot at this resort and it looks absolutely spectacular. I'll just give you a quick rundown of the dining options. So here we are, Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel Dining. A few different options there, you've got an Italian restaurant, bar, market deli with pizza, gelateria, pool bars and grill, an American bar there, all sorts of different bits and bobs. So you can make reservations from your phone in your room or at the concierge desk. Got a restaurant up there with a different balcony that they were setting up earlier. Stunning resort, so pretty. I'll take you now for a walk down towards the harbour. So in terms of getting from this resort to the park, you've got a few different options. There are buses, I think, that run throughout the um, day from this resort to maybe City Walk and some of the others. But the main kind of two options of getting to the park are either walking, in which case you follow the path down here past the um, dock, and it follows you kind of round past Hard Rock all the way into City Walk. Um, that I think is about a 20 minute, 25 minute walk depending on obviously the speed you walk and also whether you've got a pram and stuff like that. Or the main option that a lot of people choose to use is the boats over here from the uh, dock that I just mentioned. So if you do that, you have to wait uh, in line, go through security here to save yourself doing it down at um, City Walk, which is good. But it can be anywhere from a five minute wait all the way up to maybe half hour, depending on how busy it is. This morning we waited about 15 minutes, which is obviously quicker than how we walked it. So just something um, worth mentioning and thinking about if you are gonna stay here at the resort. I'm just gonna pop into this shop over here. We'll have a bit of a look around there.
Here is one of the boats now coming in. Each of the boats has a slightly different name. The one that we were on earlier, me and Oliver, was Isla Nublar. So they come in, they park at the dock just there. So the shop you saw just there is one of a few different stores here. That one there wasn't a universal branded store, but you could get um, drinks in there, souvenirs, towels, beach clothes. If you do forget things like swimming shorts, um, nappy, stuff like that, they've got that all in there. That's located just along this kind of promenade area here, alongside the um, dock. So handy little store there. And now I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of this restaurant here called uh, Bice. So I'll just have a quick look at the menu now. So this particular restaurant has all sorts of different appetizers. They have salads that you can add chicken, anchovy, salmon, etc. to. A few different mains, they've got a fish option, different meat options including steak, lamb. Coming over here they've got some different pasta options as well, risotto, gluten free pasta is also available here and you've got tiras tiramisu different desserts, gelato, sorbet, and obviously other different sweet treats as well. So again, that's located just along with Promenade here. The shop I was mentioning is just over here. This here's the restaurant, and then obviously you've got the lobby area and, and stuff in that building there, and the dock just over here to take you to and from City Walk. How pretty is this resort? It really is stunning. And a great time of day with the sunset. It really is crazy how many steps you get in on holiday over here. I think every day I've averaged about 20,000. I think the first day was 25, the second was 24. Yesterday was a bit of a quieter day, so I think it was maybe 16 or 18. But you really do get a lot of steps in, but it helps burn off that holiday food, so it's all worth it. But. It's nice walking around this resort, just having an explore. My first time here, Kate and William have done it before, but it's nice just to have a bit of wander around and have a bit of a nosy. So the boat goes from this dock just here, and it will depart down here, through this tunnel that's just over here, and then on past the hard rock and towards City Walk. Obviously coming back, it comes into here and then just swings around and parks alongside the dock. So I believe I've found one of the main pools here. This is the other pool. Um, we've got the rectangular one outside our room. And here obviously you've got a separate pool here at Portofino. It looks like it's got a bit of a lazy river or something with a tunnel down here, a bar, lots of seating and stuff. But I'll see if I can get a closer look at this just in a second. So I make my way up this way. Sun is setting on this beautiful, uh, beautiful resort. So the resort also has a gym as well, I've just realized. See if we can have a closer look. And the spa. So here is some of the information about this pool here. It's the fun at the beach pool. It has a cabana rental service and also a dive-in movie as well. And they're showing obviously Grinch now, being that it is the holiday season. And they also have here the Spendido Bar and Grill, which you can scan the QR code for the menu. Also has food available from 11 till 9 p.m. The bar is 11 till 10, apart from Friday and Saturday, where the hours are shown on there. It tells you about the weather for today and also some featured items in terms of drinks as well. Sun is helper and gingerbread cookie. The hours of the pool are nine till 10. No, we are good, thank you.
here for you. So I have just discovered there is indeed an arcade here as well. So you can get a play card here at this machine, it takes both cash and credit card. You've got some motorbike games here, Keymaster, a little claw machine, a candy claw machine. You've got Stacker just here, another little prize cube there, ice hockey, another claw machine just here. Racing game. A couple more racing games just here. Transformers game. And of course the best game in any arcade, Jurassic Park. We saw one of these the other day at uh, Wonderworks. Great game. And then to finish off Tomb Raider as well. So a well equipped arcade here and a photo booth to accompany the resort. Just to give you an idea of where this game room is, it is just opposite the uh, main pool that I showed you just a minute ago, the beach pool. So you can have little ones in the pool, or if you've got older kids that maybe want to be in the arcade, it's literally just across the way. It's a 30 second walk if that, and you, if anything you can actually see the arcade from here as well, sorry, uh, from the pool. So it's literally just across the way, uh, and it's got variety of different games for very reasonable kind of arcade prices. Should I go in the shop? <laughs> 